Hello and welcome back. Last episode we freed uh, uh, Professor X Man. Alright, I'm gonna change the team. Because screw this team. Um, I actually quite, quite like that team. But, uh, um, right, okay. Uh, details, right. Uh,. Oh my god, oh, maybe I should have just, oh man. Um, I think you should focus on, um, let's get you more health. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, skills wise, um, what's this? Uh, Additional electricity damage. Oh, flight? No, that's way more important. Uh, gear. Uh, three defense, you can wear that. Uh, that sounds fine. AI. Uh, uh, I don't mind her using everything. Uh,. Let's stick with normal. Uh, I I was hoping for a fifty. Uh, yes. I've been aching for a good scrap. Now let's replace her. With, wait, no, oh, wait, no. I wasn't done. I thought it was. I thought start was just safe changes I made. Oh, God, now I look stupid. God damn it. Guys, doesn't take me forever to get through this game at this rate. I'm just incredibly dumb. All right, uh, replace with, oh, oh my lord. <gasps> oh. Uh, yeah. Toad. I think so. Um, details. Let us, uh, let's put you on normal as well, pal. Let's not get you too worked up. Uh, blue, 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 blue. Um, regen, that's probably good. Um, stats, uh, one in health, and then let's make you like. Uh, damage is probably what we want Wolverine to be like. Um, triangle? Right, uh, let's replace you as well with. Uh, Dead to people. Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler. Um, also. Details, Magneto. Let's bump your health up a little bit too. Um, what's leadership do? Increase combo experience. Hmm. Yes. Good idea, sir. Um, no, I don't want the aggressive. I just want everyone to be normal. Um... Better check everyone's normal. All right, team, let's roll. Oh. I've spent four minutes now doing nothing because I'm a moron. Ah! I just wanted to pick my dream team. I didn't think I was too much to ask. God damn it! One more time, guys. Hopefully, unless I. Press moronic buttons again. All I want is the dream team. Uh, yeah, Magneto, get the hell off my dream team. Uh, blue, 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 blue. There he is. I was looking right at him. What the hell are you wearing? Wear your right clothes, moron. What are you wearing? Ah, you better stay in that. Uh, it's also fine. What you got? I think that's better. 
Uh, do do perfect. You know who's probably not in. Uh... Oh, what's this? Oh, knock enemies back. Yes. Uh, stats. Blah 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 blah. I want more health. Oh, I should have gotten energy actually. Oh, damn. Alright, what's your AI? Normal. Right. You. Right, I knew you were going to be aggressive. Not going to happen, pal. Not on my team. Cyclops, uh... I, I want you on my team, Cyclops. Big fan. Big fan. Right, let's go. This is the team. This is the one. The team that's going to make it all the way to the end. Probably. Hopefully. I would like that. Very much so. Um, okay, now let's go talk to people. Oh, that's not like people attend, though. We gotta, we gotta have people like us. It's good to see you. I trust we're finding common ground with the Brotherhood. I'm not quite sure about that, Professor Xavier. Toad keeps licking me as I walk past. Uh, how did Paul Glass take a prisoner? I had received a communique from Dr. Moira McTaggart requesting Polaris and I meet uh -huh. her in Madrid. What? Only too late did I come to find out it was a trap. Well, that was silly. Any idea why you wanted you? His primary target was Polaris. I was merely an afterthought. Aww. I don't know, but he was adamant that she would not be harmed. I'm almost certain she's in no immediate danger. Almost certain ain't that great, is it? Why were you being tortured? Apocalypse was determined to obtain information on Cerebro and the Xavier protocols, two areas I am particularly secretive about. All right. Uh, why you have a list yes. of all the mutants in the world? And with it, Apocalypse would know every yeah, that's gonna be dangerous. and weaknesses, and where they are. Indeed, and that mm -hmm. is perhaps the most sensitive information of all. Yeah, you should probably fix that when we get back. Fix this. He Who is Paul? Born over five thousand years ago in Egypt, and is considered right. by many to be the first mutant ever born. All right. Apocalypse could very well be immortal. He's uh -huh. a metamorph, capable of turning his body into a variety of weapons. But what's oh, that should be easy to stop then. Is his ideology, survival of the fittest. Apocalypse uh -huh. believes the strong should destroy the weak. This, yeah. he feels, would create a powerful civilization worthy of him to rule over. Well, he's probably not wrong, realistically. Uh, why are we working together? Magneto asked for the X-Men's assistance. He feels uh -huh. Apocalypse is too powerful for the Brotherhood to defeat alone. Yeah, I think he's probably Perhaps, right. But none he could depend on in the heat of battle. You see, even though we differ in ideology, Magneto knows he can trust my word. Yeah. And I know that I can trust his. Oh, Thanks, pal. Uh, is there anyone else around, around here I can talk to? Oh, hello. Beast. Salutations, my friend. It's most agreeable to see you. Hi, Beast. Uh, are you the person Indeed we see I, for equipment? I, I can acquire potions. I don't need no potions like that. Uh... Here's my text, I do have a certain penchant for learning, but I don't know if I could really lay claim to that title. Oh, that's that's humble of you. <laughs> Charles gave me these responsibilities because I have a knack for dealing with technical issues. All right. But there are several other X-Men who could do that job as well, if not better than I. Forge is the first one who comes to mind. Well, why isn't he here? So home and beacon. beacons are extremely valuable. Uh -huh. I can use them to locate an important individual that Apocalypse is holding prisoner. But I require several of them to pinpoint the location. All right. I don't know. But from what I've heard, this person would be of immense aid to us. Okay. Thanks, Anytime, pal. Anytime, my good friend. I'll have a, I'll have a lookout for uh, home and beacons. Uh... If I remember, of course, I uh, I get distracted sometimes. Uh, Saber death? That's not any use. Uh, that's no use either. 
Shut up, Juggernaut. I'm doing my best. I'm, I'm just... Like, I'm in front because I talk perfect English and I'm not evil. So, oh, well, I just did a full loop. Oh, hi, Sabretooth. I was looking for you. Hello. No. Never thought I'd see the day. The Brotherhood be working alongside you, ex -pukes. Ha! Good one, Dick. Listen, much as I hate it, I need your help. Uh -huh. A couple of hours ago, I went to Genosha to rescue a kid named Blink. But one thing led to another, and we wound up fighting a bunch of guards. All right. Shut your yap or I'll... <clears throat> Never mind. Anyway, during uh -huh. the fight, Blink was going to teleport us to the dead zone. But she oh, I wouldn't do that. And disappeared without me. I wound up having to slug my way out of there alone. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I do. Go see that mission computer if you want a full briefing. I would actually. Uh, why do you like Blake? What are you talking about? Yeah, you're in debt. Mm, maybe it ain't. But I wasn't about to leave the kid unprotected. There's no telling what Apocalypse would do to her. Oh, that's nice of you. Uh, why did she go there? When I was trying to get her out of Genosha, a bunch of Apocalypse's guards jumped us. Ah, uh, that's when she yeah, failed. But she got clobbered by a guard. Next thing I know, she's gone, and I'm left was it, there on my own. Was it Thing? And let me tell you, the guard that hit Blink ain't ever gonna draw another breath without the help of a machine, if you catch my drift. Yeah, he tore his lungs out. Where'd you meet Blink? Mm, I found her a couple of years back at some mutant testing facility. I oh, that's fun. Some recon work for Magneto. Poor kid was in a cell, all helpless and alone. So I busted her out of the joint. Did you leave everyone else there? <clears throat> she was a defenseless kid. Didn't have no one to help her. Now shut up about it. You're giving me a headache. I imagine you probably, everyone else probably also needed help. What's the dead zone? where the air fleets of Magneto and Apocalypse had their last big battle. The grounds All covered right. with crashed ships. Why? Even though Magneto's aircraft weren't that high tech, his pilots put up a hell of a fight. So Apocalypse fired off an EMP bomb that fried ships on both sides. Wow, he's ruthless. Thanks, pal. Don't make me hurt you. Okay. We did. You can't just press buttons. Hi, right, Gene. Okay. So what? Sabretooth has just informed us that a citizen of Genosha has escaped. Unfortunately, she's hurt and in an area known as the Dead Zone. Who is it? Uh -huh. A young woman named Blink. Sabretooth had gone to Genosha to rescue her. That don't sound right. Sabretooth tried to save someone. Don't we didn't believe it either. Hard on it, tiny, cuz he wouldn't ever save an X-Man. Question is, who's gonna save you, Bullethead? Cut it out, you two. Let the professor talk. Yeah. Let's get one thing straight, Boy Scout. I don't take orders from you. See? It's just like I told you, Psych. Juggernaut ain't housebroken yet. Gentlemen, please. <laughs> Let us focus on more important matters. Who's Blink? She's a very gifted mutant with the ability to. Look at them having a pleasant conversation. So she's like Nightcrawler. Only in the vaguest sense. Blink can teleport as far away as the moon. Wow, that sure leaves the elf in the dust. Did you say Blink might be hurt? Yes. She was injured while attempting to teleport out of Genosha. And that is why uh -huh. a team of you is needed to immediately begin searching the dead zone for this young woman. Good luck to you. Okay. I can do that. 
After all, success is my middle name. After failure and before disappointment. Ugh. You done? Oh, fantastic. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.